Hello everyone, it's Yav Hartman here, CRATMagics.com. I'm going to walk you through a quick demo of the Magics.com platforms um, that you understand what Magics can do for you. Uh, Magics.com basically is a full stack Facebook advertising platform that includes all the advertising technology tools that you need in one platform, uh, all of the tools that you need to succeed with your Facebook ads. Um, so let's, let's start. Basically, the first area of the product is the audience creation. In order to have a successful um, ad account and a, a success, successful strategy, you need to have a horizontal scaling. You need to have a lot to test a lot of audiences and a great variety. But don't just test random audiences. You really need to test proven audiences. So here, here we actually have hundreds, hundreds of proven audiences ready for you to launch across the full funnel. So we are covering acquisition from prospecting, people who have never known you before, let our algorithm find your next best customers with the highest value for your business. All of those audiences are here. Then you have uh, acquisition, uh, re-engagement. So all of those audiences are basically people uh, with, with a second touch. Video viewers, ad engagers, that's kind of the next stage of them. They already saw you one time and now you want to show them additional content. You want to drive them into your website. The next stage is basically uh, uh, the, the retargeting, right? So once you, you, you drove them into the website, those are those audiences. So you want to have different content. You want to create all those audiences. You know, you have like multiple visits, high intent visitors, uh, 0 to 180 days, uh, time, uh, people that are considering deep browsing, uh, high intent niche retargeting from your top URLs, all selected for you inside those. Just click it. You have a lot, a lot of setups, a lot of quick setups that you can do there um, and from, from different angles and, and, and all the, the, the best retargeting audiences out there. Then we have retention. Retention is basically people that, uh, that already bought from you. You want to sell them more pr products. You want to increase your lifetime value. Those contents are targetable for you here. All you need to do is to click. Just click uh, your audience. Uh, uh, in this case, it's all of our customers from the last 180 days. It's also bringing in CRM data from email lists if you have them. Um, uh, just give it a budget, uh, purchase optimization, and Magix will automatically sort here all of your ads by performance. So all you need to do is to select uh, your ads, let's say this, this, and this one, and click. You can also, if you don't have ads, and you're just starting out, you can also bring content from your Instagram profile or from your Facebook posts. Click next. And once I click create, your ad account is going to, to get a whole new ad set, a, a campaign, an ad set. Uh, this is the name. You can also tweak it a little bit. And those are the ads ready to deliver high performance and great return on ad spend in your ad account. So just click create and that's it is created. That's it. It's that simple to create high quality audiences. And we have hundreds of those just ready for you. The next area of the product is automation. So once you have all of those audiences, how do you manage so many audiences? Automation tactics enable you to go very wide, uh, very wide in your audience strategy, targeting a lot of audiences, even operating on higher budgets because those tactics here will take care of the optimization. So stop loss will stop the poor performing ones for the day and then restart it the next day to give it another chance. Surf is just the opposite. So once you have a, a very strong performer for the day, you would like to surf up the budgets. So this tactic takes care of that. Revive takes care, uh, takes care uh, for situations where you have delayed attribution. So maybe someone bought in the evening after it clicked in, uh, on the ad in the morning, and then at, at noon, either Magix or you turn the ad set off because it's not profitable, but then suddenly in the evening it's profitable again. So revive, and by the way, all the tactics catch those changes in real time. And in this case, it will uh, turn back on the ad account in your, uh, the ad set in your ad account so it can continue to perform. Sunsetting also, it protects your budget over time. It tracks each ad set with a microscope looking at how much you spend since the last purchase. And if you spend a hundred bucks without a purchase, it will just reduce the budget. I can really quickly show it here. Uh, for example, purchase, you see, after 200 bucks, it will reduce the budgets or after 140, it will reduce the budgets. And then after 300 bucks with no purchase, it will turn it off. So you don't, you won't have any more ad sets that you forget or kind of like, you know, those 20, $30 ad sets, like small ad sets that are just, Every day not performing, stop loss stops them. But over time, they're losing you money. This tactic will catch them and kill it right away. 
Um, so let's go back. Those are basically our tactics. Then you have a, a, a dashboard with an excellent view of how is your business performance, not just your ad advertising, like Facebook advertising performance, but how does Facebook advertising performance impact your business? You want to know your acquisition ROS. You want to know your retargeting ROS. You want to know your retention ROS. Because those, if in many cases, your profitable acquisition above 1.5 ROS, let's say, so you can spend unlimited budgets, then you are, uh, then you're profitable on retargeting and retention. Um, and that's how you grow businesses. You must track acquisition, retargeting, retention. By the way, all of those audiences are classified automatically by the software. Um, we have an AI classifier that takes care of that. And in case um, you want to change the classification, you can also do it from through the campaigns tab that I will show in a second. Uh, over here, you can see metrics over time, like how the CPM uh, affect the, the, the CTR uh, C, uh, and really find uh, products, whether if it's a content or in your media buying, uh, a lot of interesting insights here, as you see. Then here you have the total re revenue by impact analysis. So where does the revenue come from? Does it come from new customers? Does it come from retargeting audiences like the people that that already know you, yeah, but you're converting them or, or, or retention? If you have a, a high retention, it means that you, your product is very healthy, right? You want to you wanna make sure that you're tracking those areas separately and you know where your revenue comes from. Uh, you can also set automated reporting, uh, agency class, by the way. So weekly report, every Monday it will send you for the previous week uh, this full dashboard and every month, every first of the month for the previous month. So for agencies out there or for people that need to report to their boss or for the team, it's a great feature to uh, automate your workflows. And then we have the, the last thing on the campaigns where basically all the assets are, uh, are uh, sorted by ROAS. You can see which tactics are enabled on them. I showed before the tactics. You can see all the tactics. You can see the performance over time, which ad set was, uh, was good compared to other ad sets. So uh, a, a lot of interesting insights. Uh, you can also change the date, let's say the last uh, three days, and, and, and track uh, how things are, are going. In this case, you see that most of the best performing audiences here are all Magic's audiences. So Magic's audiences are, are really, really strong. I highly recommend you to launch a bunch of audiences, then let the automations manage them. Yeah, stop loss, serve, revive, safety net. And yeah, that's how you scale. And you don't need to, you don't need to stay on the account the whole day, really. Once you launch all of those audiences, you basically did everything that is needed in order to succeed with Facebook ads. All the rest really depends already on your websites, on your products, or improve your ad creative. Don't ad creative, creative. Those are the things you need to focus on, not on like optimizing, not, not like reduce budget and increase budget and create a new audience. And then, and you're all the day on the ad account, 24 seven. So here, everything you need, we already have everything you need, all the tools you need to succeed, launch a bunch of audiences, the top proven hundreds of audiences to choose from, launch them. Then have automation tactics over here. Take care. They will take care. And you see here the last triggers, they're all triggering. They will take care of your performance, whether to stop budgets, to increase budget, to look at assets that are spending too much. A lot of different angles. Revive them back once, once an asset became profitable again. And then also have the reporting capabilities to know who is doing what and how is your account doing. So it's a really, it's a, you see here, I can know exactly, I, I'm, as an ad agency owner or even as a manager, you can see exactly who from your team is, is doing what, right? So here you can see that, uh, I don't know, I'll zoom in, Magic's decreased the budget, yeah? Here you can see that uh, Magic increased the budget. Why did it increase the budget? We can even go inside and see. Let's, let's see what happened in this campaign. Okay, so here it was a really, really strong day. We had a six ROS on Saturday, the 20th of April. Uh, you can see that the budget was increased from 34 to 54. Yeah, and if I click here, it will send me exactly to the tactics. So I know that Magic served up this campaign. Here we had a shitty day, you see the ROS? We had a bad day, so Magic applied stop loss. So we, we, we lose less money for that day, right? Um, same, for, same for everything here, basically. You see, in good days, it surfaces up. In bad days, stop loss applies that you don't lose a lot of budget. And yeah, and you can really track how your ad, how your CTRs are doing over time. And yeah, that's, 
that's basically it. I mean, there, there's so many things you can do with this tool and there's also a lot of uh, uh, crazy products that are, that are coming soon around creatives, around, uh, around the, uh, we have creative clusters, we have creative insights, we have creative reporting, um, we're, we're going to have more automations. So the, the tool is always improving and there's a huge team behind it. And we're really here to revolutionize the Facebook advertising space. So I hope you guys would like to jo uh, join us in this journey. Click the link below, start a free trial. Right now we have 14 days free trial to launch all this. So let me just check the tactics. Our pricing point is also not, is, 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 is actually the pricing is also very cheap at the moment. And most probably there will be a price increase in the future. So, so yeah, just basically go, uh, Download, like start a trial, launch those audiences, and see how those, see how your life changes. Less time on the ad account, better performances, and I really look forward to hearing from you and the whole cut and and Chris uh, Chris Roy as well as the whole customer success team is waiting to help you right over here in the app. So there is an intercom button here. Feel free to text us at any time. We can help you set up the tactics, and we can advise you on on on, on other technical Facebook ads questions. But basically, the software is really simple and easy to use, so you can just play around, launch the audiences, set up the rules, and till the next time.